good morning happy monday morning inspiration i thank you for coming to my channel is this if this is your first time please subscribe hit the notification button and of course hit the like button and do not forget to share i would greatly appreciate it if you already are subscribed thank you for coming back thank you for trusting me to speak into your life or share something with you to get you through the week i greatly appreciate it so today i decided to talk about understanding the importance of you are not the things that you struggle with and so on this monday morning i just want you to be encouraged knowing that you do not have to walk around feeling like um I'm just a divorced woman. I'm just a single parent. I'm just um, I'm just a McDonald's worker. I'm just, you know, all these different things that we begin to make our identity because of things that has happened in life or because we don't feel like we are what we desire to be. Um, and that's just those things are meant to be stepping stones. Those things are meant to grow you, to help you encourage yourself to be pushed to the next level so that you can be everything that guys want you to be but if you so focus on all the things that are not right about you you will not pursue or fall in love with the things that are good about you and the things that you have done that maybe you feel bad about or maybe has put your life in a position that you feel like it shouldn't be in god is still a good god god is still a good god and his word is say i make all things new I make all things new and he is a God of forgive. He's a God of forgiveness and forgiveness, forgetfulness. So the things that we do that are not of God or the things that we do that he has told us not to do, but we do it anyway. He still say, I forgive you, baby. And I throw it into the sea of forgiveness because that gives you room to come back to me to say, God, what's next? So I want to encourage you on this Monday morning, walk around with your head held high. Walk around claiming who the word says you are. The word say, I am beautiful. I am fearful. I am wonderfully made. The Bible say, I am a child of God. The Bible say that I can have all things. God says that if you will seek him first, he will add all things unto you. So you don't have to worry about what you don't have. You don't have to worry about what you have done. It is what it is and it's over with. It's over with. It's finished and it's done. And God sent Jesus just for that. So that we can repent and have a chance to live a better life. Thank God for Jesus because out of all the things that we have done and fell short, if it wasn't for Jesus, we'd have to live in that, die in that. But he sent his son for grace and for mercy. And if I'm extending it to a person and a person won't receive it, oh my God, how horrible is that? And here God is saying, I sent my son so that you can be offered grace and mercy and forgiveness and all you got to do is receive it it's free and not only is it free it's connected to freedom let's just say that so when you receive something that's free it sets you free and to whom is free to whom god sets free is free indeed amen so i just tell you on this monday morning allow yourself to be set free Allow yourself to embrace everything that God has in store for you. Allow yourself to be okay with your mistakes and your imperfections and your extra little uh, belly roll and your, and your little arm fat or your too skinny or you, whatever it is. Whatever the things that you look at yourself and don't feel like you are good enough. Lay that stuff at the feet of the Lord and just say, God, I am who I am. And God, if it's something I don't like about me, or if it's something that I want to do differently, I can come to you and you can help me to do that. But I'm not going to live in a place of self-judgment and self-destruction and self-torture because I made mistakes. We all did. The Bible say that God told the men, whoever is, with, whoever is without sin, cast the first stone. And nobody could because we all fall short. I told my daughter the other day the difference between... A person who come who lived who in the same situation used the example we both live in the projects and 15 years later one person is a nurse they done bought a brand new home they happily married and they got kids and they just doing things then you have somebody else who was raised in a project and 15 years later they just stay on another project working from one fast food to the next Never been married out here just wilding out because they haven't made up in their mind that just because this was my past experience don't mean it has to be my identity. So God give us the right to choose. 
He is not a force for God. But it's there at your feet if you want it. And so I just encourage you on this Monday morning, take it, baby. Take it. It's yours. Why not? I look around and I say, who? God is no respect of person. So he or she don't deserve to live better than me. But what is it they're willing to do? What is it they're willing to accept? What is it they're willing to say out of their mouths to help motivate them to get them there? And I think sometimes we look and we think that God is mad at us. Oh, I fell short so much that he won't give me what he's giving them. No, it's a change of mindset. And a lot of people just have simply sat down and decided, God, this ain't what I want. I know what I've done. I know what I haven't done because sometimes it's simply we have not done some things the reason we are where we are. You know, we complain about our weight, but we won't commit to exercise. We we complain about not having skills for a better job, but we won't go back and take a course. So sometimes it's just what we haven't done that is our biggest hindrance. But God is no respect to person. Whatever is available to the next person is available to you. So I encourage you on this Monday morning. To be proud of who you are. Flaws, imperfections, mistakes, everything. Be proud of who you are. And not only once you become proud of those things and admit to those things, people can no longer hold them over your head. You know, you know what I'm saying? What I've made peace with, you can't use against me. So, in doing that, encourage somebody else. Girl, you are beautiful. Girl, you, gonna, girl, you got a great future ahead of you. Girl, tomorrow is over and done with just encourage somebody else as you encourage yourself. As you walk into this thing of accepting, encourage somebody else to accept. And uh, all along, thank God for it. You know what I mean? Just be like, God, I thank you. Because I am not my situation. I am not my mistakes. I am not my imperfection. I am flawfully made. But I am perfect in you. So I encourage y'all to just... Have a great, great Monday. Um, I would like it very much in the comments. If you can share some of your own affirmations. Um, if you have any that you share to just kind of keep yourself uplifted so others can read, I can read. And what I mean by affirmations for those that don't know is just to say to yourself, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I will do great things. I will be debt free. God has great things in store for my children. God has his hands on me. I will be wealthy. I would not, I would not have to borrow money. Just whatever your affirmation is for your season. I will live in peace. Sometimes that's all sometimes that little one information right that affirmation right there is everything. I will live in peace. So whatever affirmation you are using in this season, share it with us in the comments. If you are not using an affirmation, find one and apply it to yourself. It could just be a scripture. It could be a word, whatever. But find you something to stand on because there's nothing worse than a rocky foundation or an unstable foundation because you have nothing solid to plant your feet in. So God say, let me be your foundation. Build your house upon me. So find something that is connected to what he say and build on it build on that but i love you i thank god for you and i appreciate you greatly for taking the time to come and see little old marquita and of course pray for me as i continue to pray for you y'all have a awesome awesome monday be blessed